I want to pay attention to this today here, guys. When we're done out on the ice, uh, this practice should be about 45 minutes, okay? And then what I'd like to do is uh, get ourselves in here as quickly as we can. At 11.15, we'll have a bit of a team meeting. I want to run through some of the things that we've got for objectives this year as a, as a, as a coaching staff and certainly you guys as a team. Play some catch with that a little bit. Um, uh, you know, things like chances and turnovers and those things that are important, especially to coaches. But beyond that, too, talk a little bit about our rules and our policies and, and uh, you know, some things along those lines as well. Uh, you know, so I want to have that meeting today be so, so we don't have to worry about it tomorrow or any else, anything else during the season. Uh, I also want to make sure that you're clear on some of the things that are compulsory in terms of um, uh, league meetings that they have to have, security meetings, those types of things, uh, uh, random drug testing, that kind of stuff, just to make sure everybody kind of hears it at the same time. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, give you guys uh, an opportunity to acknowledge the leadership of our team that will be recognized with letters. And I say that especially because a letter is exactly that. It certainly signifies that uh, these guys are leaders. I want to say to that end that we have leadership in this room beyond uh, the people I'm about to call out here. And uh, I think that's huge to recognize, huge to acknowledge, huge to tap into. Uh, and I know I will be. Um, when we come in off the ice and after our meeting, the press will be here to uh, speak to our captain. Uh, they will also be here prior to that to talk to you guys about you know, how things are going. Uh, what's it like being on the Oilers? Uh, you know, they'll ask you about the captain. Uh, that's fine. They may ask you about the assistant captains of which you know nothing. Okay? So if anyone says to you, so-and-so, uh, I understand so-and-so might be an assistant captain, you'll say, I don't know what Tom's plans are just yet. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, and that's when it will become common knowledge in terms of the assistant captains. Okay? Just so you know that. Uh, Sean Horkoff will be your new captain of the Edmonton Oilers. And, uh, you know, I certainly didn't make this decision by myself, and coaches always like to crack jokes about being the guys that count the ballots, and I don't do that either. I solicit from, from you people and, and guys that I think, uh, you know, have the knowledge of the league, uh, of the room, what's required. And, um, you know, to a man, everybody, Sean, uh, embraced your, your, your idea as the, as the captain of our team. So congratulations, Sean, and good on you. Um, the assistant captains are going to be uh, Ryan Whitney and Alish Hemsky. And I think you should acknowledge those guys as well for the, for the duty that they'll bring to our team moving forward as well. So congratulations to you guys. Um, as I mentioned, there's a number of other guys in this room that can serve in a, in a leadership capacity, and I know I'll ask them to do that. Uh, in any event, keep in mind that the letters are just that, but they do represent us in every way, shape, or form. And the guys that now have that responsibility have that responsibility when it comes to speaking to, a re uh, to referees, uh, when it comes to talking to the media, when it comes to dealing with coaches and management, uh, when it comes to talking to your staff, you know, you are a leader on this team as signified by that letter. And I know that you'll take it very, very seriously and do everything you possibly can to represent all of us in a way that suggests that this is, in fact, a new era for the Oilers and one that shows respect first and foremost, uh, uh, incredible level of work habits and commitment to our cause, uh, and a deep uh, honor, you know, to wear the C, or the, uh, the CNEAs, I should say. So, um, We'll leave it at that. We'll come back in. We'll shower up, get in your stalls, uh, in your, your street clothes. Um, we'll do a quick meeting, uh, hopefully not real long, but I do, I do have to plow through some things with you. And then uh, you'll have another fun day with the press and the people to my right. And uh, away we go. So let's have a good practice. All right.